insurance company wasn't fair. I didn't know what my case was worth, so I called the Barnes firm. I'm Rich Barnes. It's hard for people to know how much their accident case is worth. Let our injury attorneys help you get the best result possible. Flamingo Fridays, DJs, drink specials, nighttime pool fun. The summertime sales event is on now at Dennis Dillon RV. DDRV.com. Morgan & Morgan, the fee is free. You don't pay us anything unless we win your case. What makes Best Reviews the best reviews? Milk. Nope. They have an unbiased team that researches products in real-world situations to give reliable recommendations on pretty much everything. So you can be confident that whatever you're buying is right for you, no matter what life throws at it. Like your daughter Clementine, for example. For the best reviews, go to bestreviews.com. Seriously, before you buy anything, ever. Good morning, everyone. I'm Erin Myers in Hollywood. A woman viciously attacked in a parking garage. Now police are looking for two men that they say are responsible. All of the latest coming up. Also this morning, community is on alert at this hour after a bear is spotted roaming in the area. Now they're asking local authorities to do something about it. And more trouble on the 6th Street Bridge, but there could be a positive outcome to all of that chaos. We'll tell you about that. Another day of partly cloudy skies, and we could see more thunderstorms this afternoon. We'll talk about all of that coming up. Good morning to you. Welcome to KTLA Morning News. It is 6 a.m. on a beautiful Sunday morning. Hi. It, it is a nice, beautiful Sunday morning. How's your day going? I'm good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Six Six o'clock and 51 seconds. Well, buckle up. We've got four <laughs> hours, 59 minutes, exactly. and however many seconds left. We sure do. All right, it's going to be a fun morning right here, but let's get to our top stories at this hour in this Sunday morning. And it's going to be a brutal attack in Hollywood. It left one woman seriously hurt after she was kicked in the head and face by her assailants. Parts of the attack were all caught on video. Some of it is just too graphic to share. Katie Lefaz, Aaron Myers is live in Hollywood with the very latest on this story. Aaron. Good morning, you two. This happened in a parking garage here in Hollywood, not far from Hollywood Boulevard, a very busy area. As you said, this woman viciously attacked. Now police are looking for two men that they say are responsible. We'll go ahead and get into some of that video for you right now. It was posted on social media, and it shows the woman laying on the ground, the two men allegedly attacking her. You can see one kicker in the head, which is too graphic to show. A group appearing to be the woman's friend seemed to intervene, asking the men to stop, and they also try to pull her away. It all happened early Friday morning in a busy part of Hollywood where you often see people out enjoying a night on the town. We are told the LAPD responded to the parking garage on the 1700 block of North Las Palmas just after 2 a.m. The woman who suffered visible injuries after being kicked in the head and face and punched those in the area now concerned. It definitely makes me feel alarmed yeah, and a little unsafe because I walk these streets every day because I live Absolutely. over here. So I definitely guess I won't be walking alone anymore. Which is the best. I hope that people like that do get caught. It's just sad to hear that because one of my friends told me about that. That's why I'm out now. Even um, me and my friends will go to a hookah bar that's not too far from here. And once it hits 2 a.m., like all the guys are surrounding us. Hey, where are you parked? I'm parked across the street. That's fine. We're going to watch you get in your car and drive off. As for the suspects, police are looking for two men, but there isn't a detailed description of them. It's also not known what may have led up to this. Detectives with the LAPD's Hollywood Division are handling the investigation. A woman who identified herself as the victim in an Instagram post said she did not know her attackers and that they stole her belongings. Uh, many, though, as we, uh, you just heard, not surprised something like this has happened. Now, back here live, we have reached out to the LAPD this morning to see if there are any updates on this investigation. Anyone with any information is encouraged to contact the police. Reporting live here in Hollywood, I'm Erin Myers. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Erin, thank you for that live report. All right, other news we're following this morning. Take a look at that bear walking the streets near the border of Laverne and Pomona. These pictures were sent to us overnight by some concerned residents. Now, they say the spotted, they spotted this bear near the Metrolink tracks near the Pomona station on Fulton Road. So here's the deal. They're worried that it's the same bear that was spotted earlier this week. They say calls to the police and also to the Fish and Game Department went unanswered. Uh, we've also reached out to authorities, but so far they have not responded. Maybe we should get out now. That's what we're trying to do. I think someone will. I think someone will. 
You're looking at video of the aftermath of a shooting scare over at the entire.